I'm telling you, every direction there's noise. The people behind us, as we were saying, Jamaica, the crane, Google Yaga, just noise. And I'm like, listen, I'm not, I'm not going to do this video. Devil, you are a loser. So I came in my car and I turned on the ceiling light and I said, I'm going to do the video in the car. All right, so just please see with this video. I know it's not the best quality, but I am going to do this video and I'm going to do it right now. So on August the 2nd, I had a vision, right? But first, um, it's actually, this video will actually have good news and bad news. So which one you want first? I'm going to think you want to hear the bad news first and then at least we can finish off with the good news. Amen? So on August the 2nd, I had a vision and it didn't last even five seconds. I literally closed my eyes, got the vision, opened my eyes, and it was gone. Right? So, um, I don't remember clearly what I was doing, but I know that I closed my eyes and saw this vision opened and it was gone. In the vision, I was in the aisle of a supermarket. You know, I was in the aisle, so I saw two sets of shelves going down a set of shelves going down right and there was nothing on the shelves there was nothing on the shelves I actually named this video casual Christians will become casualties for a reason I've been getting the unction or the inspiration of this food lack or shortage that is eminent. Amen. For a couple months now, and I have not been given the permission by the Holy Spirit because every time I would want to talk about it, it would just not sit right in my spirit. It was not time for me to talk about it. I got the vision and it was clear as day. There was nothing on the shelves in the supermarket. Brethren, there was nothing on the shelves in the supermarket. In May, the UN had a meeting, they had a forum, right? And they staged a global report on the food crises and it included also acute food insecurity and this is in 55 countries 155 million people are experiencing acute food insecurity right and that is just for 55 countries that's not that's not the whole world yet you know just for 55 countries 155 million people are experiencing this right in one of the presenters said the report unfortunately is showing their worst fear is coming through right and it is nowhere subsiding and they go on and on i'll link the video below with how it's becoming worse year after year right leading from 2019 then they also said it's definitely worsened since the coming snake effect the whole panorama that happened it has significantly worsened say let me ask you a question right now can you honestly say that you have Let's start low. Do you have even three days worth of food in your house? You, you eat at this and comfortably. And this doesn't include, of course, those that really cannot afford it and those that may be homeless and different situations. But you not, not, let's not say empty, but when you open it even now, you don't really see what you could really make or you don't, you know, you don't see anything that you could make a proper meal out of. Okay, so let my video is gonna go. I need to 
delete something so I can continue the rest of the video. So just stay tuned. Hi Saints, welcome back. So we were talking about the vision that the Lord gave me of the upcoming food shortage. And what I must say, if you are getting so many warnings, you are seeing so many videos, Remember I gave you all the story of the 10 virgins, right? Five were wise, devious, nonchalant, careless, carefree, not thinking in the future, not thinking past where they are that day, that time, that all that me. It wasn't as important to them at the time to have overflow or, you know, crisis that is coming up. Take heed. Don't let this seed fall in stony ground. Don't let it fall in stony ground. Amen. So that was I'm gonna say that AM part of what I have that's where she been a double all the names Amen. are doubles. And Even all the uh, titles I have, I'll be calling a double. Data only. I'll put a link down below. Just go click on that, subscribe, so that you can get that information. Oh, okay. okay. As you're coming in, amen. I want you to watch this video and we'll come back with the commentary. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm so... I'm so... Hey boss. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> prepared to even think of doing anything like that to anybody, more or less the people that you love and care about. So as a watchwoman, I decided to go on the CDC website to look into this whole Z people apocalypse thing. And what do they say? Get a kit, make a plan, be prepared. And <laughs> let me just read off the list before I go any further and get into the visibility. So they say the kit should have water, food, flashlight, radio, extra batteries, first aid kit, medication, seven day supply, multi purpose um, stuff, sanitation items, copies of personal documents, cell phone, charger, family disaster plan, extra cash, emergency blankets, and a map of your area. Then they say, wonder why Z's. Z apocalypse and Z preparedness continues to live or walk dead on a CDC website. As it turns out, what first began as a tongue in cheek campaign to engage new audiences with preparedness messages has proven to be a very effective platform. We continue to reach and engage a wide variety of audiences on all hazard preparedness via Z preparedness, right? In one of my previous videos, I mentioned to you all, if you realize all this some begins, all of the movies that are coming out, they're all over the internet. I can't go on any platform and don't see a Z game, right? And in the game, it's showing people building fortresses, people building little, you know, hideaways or whatever. Right, and that's the thing with them, they love to hide the truth in plain sight. Maybe they think they're doing us a favor by throwing some hints in the movies and in the games, and even just straight there on a website on an official website. You know what I mean? To probably damper or not damper, but you know, let their conscience feel better. I don't know, right? We know those people don't have a conscience, right? So, in all truths, we're going to give it a few years. 
and we know what could lead to this said apocalypse happening right um i don't think i need to go over that in every video but we know what we believe would lead to that